Chemotherapy faces two problems. Problem number one is that cancer cells can be drug resistant. So uh, the drug is not very efficient against cancer cells. And the problem number two is that the drug at the same time kills normal cells and tissues. So chemotherapy is toxic and dangerous to a patient. So what we try to do here uh, by bringing the chemotherapy to the level of single cells is to improve its efficacy against drug-resistant cancer cells by delivering the drug inside specific cancer cells and number two by reducing the drug doses and thus making the chemotherapy much safer and said by reducing the treatment time which also improves the safety of the treatment. First of all we need to deliver gold nanoparticles to cancer cells and to do this we attach antibodies, special molecules that recognize cancer cells and bring gold nanoparticles inside the cancer cells. When being exposed to a very short laser pulse these gold nanoparticles uh, convert, convert light into heat and they evaporate tiny environment of the cell making a vapor nanobubble or a nano explosion and this nanobubble can create a tiny hole, temporary hole in a cell and if the drug is outside the next thing the, dr uh, the bubble will do it will suck the drug from outside inside the cell so this is how the drug will be quickly delivered inside the cell we have started with cancer cell models in a dish and our microscope and after we obtain this proof of the principle our next stage is to translate this into a mice model. We work with our MD Anderson Cancer Center collaborators now to study the bubble generation and drug delivery and chemotherapy in a mouse model. We use the same uh, head and neck cancer model. The methods we de developed work at the single cell level which means that if there are cancer cells surrounded by normal cells we generate the bubbles, our plasmonic nanobubbles, selectively only in cancer cells and only cancer cells are killed by injected or released drug and all adjacent normal cells survive this procedure. We have demonstrated this in several models in our lab and we also now are demonstrating this in a mouse model with the same head and neck cancers.